one of the most important things that you will get at basic training is your hat. How you have a well-trained hat. You discipline your hat just like you would yourself. When you graduate, you're allowed to get this inner hat liner, whereas this, this does not have it. So you get first get your hat, what, it's probably all, it's probably all crisp actually. It's probably more like this. But once you fold it and you put it away and all that, it'll start to get, have a bunch of creases. This is a well-trained hat. I'm gonna show you how you train your hat. And then I'm gonna show you how you wear your hat. So, see right here, there's a little crease. See that? You, when you have spare time, take that crease and just keep folding it. And that way you get something like this. You want to have a bit of an inner dome. It's a little easier to explain on here because it, it stands up on its own. Pretty much you want it to look like this. See how the crease is formed? And in a way it's like a dome inside. So I'm gonna use this as an example. The front bill, if you want it to look good, uh, something you should do is get a rubber band. Just leave it like that for the night and it'll form well. You want no, um, You just want your hat to look good. This is how you wear your hat. Uh, this is a really bad video. What you want is this part here. You know, I'm going to use this as an example. You want this part to be parallel with the ground. And because it's parallel with the ground, you see how this right here is going down. This is supposed to cover your forehead. So without even looking, is it parallel with the ground? Approximately. And is it covering my forehead? Yes. This is how you make sure your hat looks good. Some people, they wear their hat and it's like this. This is not scary at all. And you see how it's covering the back of my head? Some people wear their hat and it's like this. Don't wear your hat like this. Train your hat to stand up on its own. Some people, when they get, uh, ooh, I'm gonna show you how to properly wear some tailored reviews. Some people, oh, and lightweight boots. I have another video topic all about lightweight boots. When you get lightweight boots, if you get lightweight boots, get cardboard and put it in here so it stands up on its own. And that way you never fold your hat, but it always looks good and it's a much cheaper way than having it, buying it sewn in. So when you get your hat, you want to find that crease. You want to find that little spot somewhere on your head where you feel it. It's like about parallel. You want to drag drag it down. For me, I just put it as down as it possibly can go. And then while you're you have time, you just want to crease the sides. Make sure it looks good. And you shouldn't. You see on the top, it's nice and flat. And that's the way it should look. If you had no glasses on, this is how you look really intimidating. That was a little side joke. That is how you wear your hat. A uh, good tip to do, the good thing to do is leave it like this. And when you have basic training, drench it in water form it up to the way you want it to be or the way it's supposed to be and then simply let it dry overnight and when you get in the morning it when it dries it makes your hat super stiff so it's super stiff like this whereas it's like this see the difference this is what, what a sewn in hat liner does you never have to worry about anything and i never ever fold this when you fold your cap, you put it in your right cargo pocket. When you fold your cap, you want to take this, put it over, see, like, like, a, like a little puppet. Take this, 
fold it over, and you take this, fold it over again. And that's about what it should look like. What I see some people do, they just roll it, they just, they roll it up. That completely messes it all up. So when you take it out again, it looks like this. You try and put it on, and then you get like these dents. You don't want dents. So how you properly fold it, like you do your puppet, and you do that. That's all I got about hats. Next video I'm going to be talking about socks. I get a nice, somewhat nicely rolled sock. And then I'll be talking all about lightweight boots. These are Danners. There are two types of people in this world. Danner boots and Nike boots. You also have the Marauder people and those are like the distant cousin of the, uh, the lightweight boots. So we'll be talking about that. This is how you wear your hat properly. And yeah.